Lovely. I'm so glad you all are here with me today. We're going to do um, a relatively new class that I'm teaching called Ghosh Flow. It follows the sequence of 26 and 2 yoga, which I know you guys are familiar with, um, but we'll add in some sun salutations and some variations of the posture throughout class. So we will start with two sets of pranayama deep breathing. Bring your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. Slowly drop your head back. Reach your arms forward. Elbows touch away from your body. Good. Inhale, chin down slowly. Bring your chin down, look straight ahead, lift your elbows all the way up, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, look way, way, way back for the wall behind you, arms forward, elbows together. Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose, down through your uh, throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up. As you exhale, open your mouth wide, make an AJ. <sighs> Sound, keep exhaling until your lungs are empty. Inhale, head down. Bring your chin down and your elbows up. Exhale, head up. Head back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you wanna take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath, push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far, breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. Let's make this the last breath in the first set. Spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in. Keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change. Arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles under your chin. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up, breathing in through the nose against the back of the throat, creating a little bit of a vibration, snoring sensation. Exhale, head up, use your throat muscles. Think of your throat like a valve, constricted, breathe slower, longer, exhale more, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. So sort of a Darth Vader sound, but not a Baby Yoda sound. You are stimulating, or you're not stimulating your vocal cords. Exhale, head up. So you're not using your voice box, you're just pushing the air out. So it makes a little bit of a Darth Vader sound, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. Chin down, elbows up, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Head back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, Six, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Six, five, four, three, two, elbows touch, one. Inhale, head down. Use the full six seconds to inhale. Chin down, elbows up, hold for one moment at the top. Exhale, head up. Take your time, slowly head back. Slowly arms forward, elbows touch, hold and pause. Inhale, head down. Keep the weight in your heels. Glue your ankle bones together, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your butt. Exhale, head up, lock your legs. Weight stays in your heels, hips a little forward, hip muscles contracting, thigh muscles tight. Inhale, head down, stomach, 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 depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles, suck it in, hold it in tight. Exhale, head up, even as you exhale, draw your belly button back towards your spine, chest up to the ceiling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, let's make this the last breath, second set. Deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now. Elbows touch. Good. Change. Arms down. We'll continue with three sets of half moon with hands to feet pose. 
And during those sets of half moon with hands to feet pose, we'll work in a little bit of a sun salutation vinyasa. Don't worry, I'll walk you through all of it. So first set, feet together, toes heels touching nicely. Inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Stretch up, out of your waist and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, press your hips forward, squeeze your palms together, arms back with your ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember it's the first posture of the day and there's no rush, know where you need to be, nothing you have to prove to yourself or to anyone else. All you have to do is breathe in and out through your nose. Let your breath be your guide as you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, push, push change. Inhale to come up and stop in the middle. Hips forward, arms back, stretch up tall, and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right. Notice if the knees or elbows start to bend, come up a little bit, lock your arms, lock your legs. A really big trick here, use your grip strength. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands, cross your thumbs, squeeze your palms up to the wrists. Press your biceps into your ears, lift your chin, Lift your chest, drop your shoulders. Keep the weight in your heels. Notice if your butt's sticking out a little bit, push your hips more forward, upper body back. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up. First back bend, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head all the way back, look for the floor behind you, and then immediately bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. Whole spine backward, bending from coccyx to the neck, Lower back, middle back, upper back, bend your total spine backward, bending, try to fall down backwards. Maximum weight in your heels. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Put your hands on the floor, relax your head down and then go for a walk. Bend one knee, straighten the other. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Especially during seasonal transitions, be aware that postures might feel a little bit different like in mid-September than they did in mid-August, and that's okay. Padastasana, hands to feet pose, bend your knees halfway. Grab maybe the backs of your calves, maybe your Achilles, Maybe your heels from underneath, step on all 10 fingers. Wrap your elbows back, touch stomach to thighs, chest to knees, eventually face to the shins below your knees, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight forward into your toes and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. With a smiling, happy face, it's kind of poetic. Pull on your heels, roll forward, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. Listen carefully to change out of the posture, release the grip on your heels or the backs of your feet. Place your hands on the floor in front of you and inhale into a halfway lift. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins or the floor in front of you, chin away from your chest, weight in your toes. On your next exhale, suck your stomach in, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor and step back into a high plank. And if high plank doesn't work for you, you're welcome to be on your knees. We're gonna do what's called a chaturanga or a vinyasa. So go forward two inches, hug your elbows in and lower down to a 90 degree angle. As you inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do baby cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor, or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. If your thighs don't come off the floor when you straighten your arms, um, bend your elbows, it's safer for your shoulders. On your next exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. Bend one knee, straighten the other, lift your hips up, drop your head down, press your heels down. 
If at any point down dog doesn't work for you, know that you can do a child's pose, sinking the hips down and reaching the arms forward. So every high plank can be done on the knees. Every down dog can be, pardon me, every, uh, uh, yeah, every down dog can be a child's pose. Words are hard. And you can always skip that vinyasa sequence by going straight from a plank into your down dog or into your child's pose. Lots of options. On your next inhale, look forward towards your hands. Step forward, chin away from your chest. Exhale, drop your head, bend your knees. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, arms with your ears, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands back down at heart center. Good. Okay, we'll do second set of that uh, sequence again. Second set, feet together, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, push your hips forward, upper body back, squeeze your palms together. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly drop to the right as you push your hips to the left, come down in a straight line, no bend in elbows, no bend in the knees. Keep the weight in your heels, push your hips a little more forward, upper body back, more biceps with your ears. Push your left hip forward, get your two hips in line, right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line. You want your hips and armpits facing the front of your mirror or the front of your mat, come down, push, 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 change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up tall, and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right. Use your left hand to pull your right hand to the top left corner of the room, push your left heel into the floor, push your right heel into the floor, come down, push your hips a little bit further to the right. Tilt your right hip forward to keep your two hips in line, left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push, and push, and push, change, inhale to come up, second heart opener, it's a little bit hard for me to talk and do at the same time. Take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head all the way back, and then bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. Whole spine backward bending, whole front of the body stretching, lock your legs, lock your arms, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward, arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Good, change, inhale to come up, stretch up first. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Put your hands on the floor, drop your head, go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head, notice what's a little bit more loose in the second set, what's still a little tight, there's no right or wrong. Second set, hands to feet pose, Padastasana, bend your knees halfway, grab your heels from behind. Wrap your elbows back, stomach to thighs, chest to knees, face on the shins. Pull on your heels, roll your weight forward into your big toes, and gently lift your hips up. So eventually the legs will lock, doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. Keep the upper body glued to the lower body, roll forward one more time, push your big toes down, lift your hips up, squeeze your thighs tight. Good, change. Place your hands either on your thighs, your shins, or the floor in front of you. And as you inhale, look up halfway, weight in your toes, chin away from your chest, halfway lift. As you exhale, stomach in, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step back into your high plank or um, tabletop. Keep exhaling, roll forward two inches, hug your elbows in, lower down. Inhale, come up into your baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. And remember, you can skip the vinyasa and go straight from um, plank or tabletop into down dog or child's pose. You can always skip that lowering down part. Try to lift your hips up, drop your head, spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb. Push down there so not all the weight is just on the wrist. Try to get the heels down, soften your head, lift your hips. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward, chin away from your chest. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your head. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, arms with your ears, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands back down. Good. Third set, a little faster. Feet together, arms overhead, palms together. This time, just cross your thumbs. Push your hips forward, upper body back, stretch up tall, and slowly drop to the right as you push your hips to the left. Keep your hips and shoulders opening, facing forward the whole time, and the weight in your heels. Relax your jaw, seal your lips, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, reset, hips forward, arms back, push your heels down, suck your stomach in, stretch up, and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right, palms together, arms with the ears, chin away from the chest, shoulders down, weight in the heels, right hip forward, two hips in line, left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push, 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 change, inhale to come up, third heart opener, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, 
drop your head back and then bring your arms back with your ears. Bend your spine, open through the front of your body. 10 more seconds. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. And this time, no warm up right away. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from behind. Pull on your heels, drop your head, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Maybe in the third set, you lock your legs, maybe not. Push your big toes down, lift your hips up. Stomach to thighs, chest to knees, face on the shins, pull harder, stretch more, lift your hips up, try to lock your knees. Good, change. Place your hands on the floor in front of you, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step back into your high plank. Keep exhaling, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come up into your baby cobra, up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. Try to press the heels down, roll your shoulders back and down your ribs, spread your fingers wide, contract your thighs, lift your hips, drop your head. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Next inhale, look between your hands, step forward. Exhale, relax your head, soften your knees. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, arms with your ears, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, awkward, you can toss them first set normal. Step your right foot to the right, six inches, hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel. Bring your arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight. Suck your stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in, lean your upper body back, depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles, suck it in, hold it in tight, little bit more weight back into your heels, lift your chin up, chest up, good, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, push your hips a little forward, come up all the way on your tiptoes, stretch up first, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, tuck your tailbone under a little bit, so press your hips forward, lift the crown of your head up, sit down one more inch, change, inhale to come up, last part, heels down, squeeze your knees and inner thighs together, keep your feet where they are, so don't turn your toes in, let your heels come a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down like you're sliding your back down a wet marble wall. Stop whenever you want or when you're a half inch off your heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your chest, relax your shoulders and change. Slowly come up, knees together, stomach in, good, change. Heels down, right foot back, arms down. You're welcome to do second set just like that. I'll give you some optional variations to try out. Second set, awkward chair pose, step your right foot to the right, six inches, hip width distance. This time bring your hands together at heart center, suck your stomach in, bend your knees and sit down. Now you can stay right here or you can bring your left elbow to your right thigh, right elbow up, hands in the middle of your heart space, look up for a nice spine twist. You can stay here or open the arms apart, right arm up to the ceiling, looking up, opening the chest, take a breath. If you separated your hands, bring them back together in prayer. Slowly untwist, coming back to center. And this time take right elbow to left knee, outer knee. Try to get your elbow in the middle of your chest, pardon me, hands in the middle of your chest, left elbow pointing up. You can stay here or open the arms wide. Right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, opening your chest. Good, hands back together, come back to heart space, come back to center line of your body and inhale, come up. Keep your arms there, come up all the way in your tippy tippy toes, stretch up tall, bend your knees, sit down. For this part, you can lean forward, stick your butt out, and then bring the arms back, palms facing in, like you're trying to push palms together a little bit. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down, like you're sitting down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up, last part, heels down, squeeze your knees together, let your heels come a little bit off the floor. I'm gonna keep my arms parallel, you can keep them at heart center if that feels good for you, and slowly sit down, take your time. I like to use my arms for a counterbalance. Squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your chest. If you have healthy knees and you're all the way down, try to come up one inch and hold. Come up one inch and hold. Good, and now slowly come up. Very nice, with control. Slower you do, better you do. Nice, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Okay, eagle pose, garasana, first set normal. Or wait, no, I'm sorry, now we're gonna do another vinyasa, my bad. So hands together, inhale, lift your arms up, looking up overhead. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, drop your head. 
Inhale, halfway lift, chin away from your chest. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step back into a high plank, keep exhaling, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come up into your baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. So at least towards the beginning of class, we'll get some vinyasas in. Again, they're always optional. Everything we do is optional. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Inhale, look between your hands, step forward. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, arms with your ears. Okay, eagle pose. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left arm. Right under left, you can grab shoulders. You can interlace fingers or have hands in prayer, thumbs towards your nose. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Lean back and bring your right leg over your left leg as high as possible, right over left. Cross twist, try to wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left. Twist like ropes, sit a little bit lower. Arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change, feet together. Inhale your arms over your head, left side. Exhale, left arm under right arm, left under right. Remember you can grab shoulders, interlace fingers, or have hands in prayer. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring your left leg over your right leg as high as possible. Wrap your left foot and breathe. Bring your knees to the left and upper body to the right. Notice if one shoulder or hip is higher than the other, try to even them out. Sit down more, arch your upper body back. Good, change right to second set, feet together, arms over your head. We'll try to do arms and legs at once. Exhale, right arm under left arm, right leg over left leg. Cross twist and breathe, so a little bit more coordination. Left hip tilts forward, two hips in line. Right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line. Try to straighten your wrists. Sit a little bit lower. Breathe a little slower. Bring your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head, left side. Left arm, under right arm, left leg, over right leg. So under, over, that's how I remember it. Under, over, knees to the left, upper body to the right, seal your lips. Relax your jaw, try to sit back and down. Keep the weight in your heel, arch your upper body back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, optional vinyasa, inhale looking up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step back, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, come up into your baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. Bend one knee, straighten the other. Lift your hips, take an inhale, take an exhale. Inhale, look between your hands, step forward. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Wonderful, party time. Grab a sip of water if you want. <laughs> Cheers. I have my baby Yoda tank top on. It says, small but strong. That is how I feel about our group today. I'm glad, so glad we're all practicing together. Okay, so we're gonna continue on with standing head to knee, and we're gonna flow standing head to knee um, to standing bow. And you'll kind of see, I hope that helps you see like how they're related. So the idea is while you're on one leg, you're gonna round forward, flex your toes, and then you're gonna come up back bend and point your toes, right? And if you, know, if you fall out, of course, just hop back in. But we're gonna flow one to the other. Okay, standing head to knee, Dhanda Yamana, Johnny Shrasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up. Point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back. Of course, you're welcome to stay here. When you're ready, start to round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, nice tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. If you've been coming for a while and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble, inhale slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until it's exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg lock. Take a breath, kick your heel forward, flex your toes back. If both legs lock, bend elbows down, touch elbows to calf muscles, one day elbows go below the calf muscles, lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Good change, slowly reverse out. Keep your right foot up. Now point your right toes. Bring your right hand up. Bring it out to the right. Reach back and pick up the inside of your foot at the ankle bone, knees together. Left arm up and back with your ear. My calf is already burning. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a deep breath, stretch up, and go for it. Charge your body forward as you kick your right leg back and up. 
kicking and stretching equal, simultaneous 50-50, the harder you kick, you can balance forever, so kick really hard. Slowly come down, abdomen, chest parallel to the floor, body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly kick yourself up. Let's do the other side. Shift your weight to your right leg, contract your inner thigh, contract your outer thigh, evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot. Lift your left leg up, point your toes, flex your toes. Keep your toes flexed back for standing head to knee. Abdomen in to protect your spine. Round down and pick up your left foot. Nice tight grip. Standing legs should be solid concrete. One piece lamp post unbroken. You have no knee. If your right leg is locked, slowly lift your left leg up. So real kick, kick your heel forward. Flex your toes back. It's a really nice way to stretch the Achilles, the calf, and even the hamstring. If both legs lock, you should feel tremendous stretching on both hamstrings. Bend your elbows down. Keep bringing the chest down so one day elbows go below the calf muscles. Roll your shoulders back. Press your heel forward. Good. Change. Slowly reverse out. Keep the left leg lifted. Point your left toes. Bring your left hand up. Out to the left. Reach back. Pick up the inside of your left ankle. Knees together. You want your hips even with the front of your mat. Bring your right arm up and back with your ear. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, take a deep breath, stretch up, and go for it. Charge your body forward, kick your left leg back and up. All five fingers together, thumb with your index finger, palm of your right hand, faces the floor. Get your right arm exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Lock your standing leg. Slowly come down, abdomen parallel to the floor, keep your chin and chest lifted, kick, 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 good, change. Kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Take a breath. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, engage your abdominal wall. Round down and pick up your foot. So in standing head to knee, the toes are pointed back, the abdominal wall is engaged and the spine is rounding. If you know your left leg is locked, inhale, lift your right leg up. Heel forward, toes back. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Maybe put your forehead on your knee. Heel forward, toes back, standing leg locked. Good, take your time as you reverse out. Try to keep the right leg off the floor. Knees together, bring your right hand up, out to the side, reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle. Knees together, notice if one hip is higher, even your hips. Bring your left arm back, lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. So in standing head to knee, we're rounding the spine, we're flexing the toes, we're engaging the abdominal wall. In standing bow, we're bending the spine, we're pointing the toes, and we're relaxing the abdominal wall. So it's a little different, right? Kind of the opposite. Bring the body down more, leg up more, charge your body forward, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Last one, shift your weight to your right leg. Lock your right leg, you can do it. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, suck your stomach in, I'm definitely sweating. Round down and pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, nice tight grip. Concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. Inhale, lift your left leg up. It's a real kick, kick your heel forward, flex your toes back. If both legs lock, puff up your chest and bend elbows down. Elbows go below calf muscles. Keep pressing your hips forward. Slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee, hips forward, toes back, stomach in. Good, change, reverse out. Keep the left leg off the floor. Bring your left hand up, out to the left. Reach back, pick up the inside of your foot, knees together, right arm back of your ear. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, stretch up tall, and slowly kick stretch and breathe. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. That's really true in both standing head to knee and standing bow. So in standing head to knee, you're pushing your foot forward for balance. And in this one, you're pushing your foot back for balance. Harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down, heel up, kick, kick, kick. Ooh, change, good, slowly come up. <laughs> Sometimes you fall, that's okay. All right, come to the back of your mat and tell Tula to Nasana balancing stick. First set normal, feet together, arms overhead, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, lean back, step your right foot forward a big step, lock both legs, point your left toes, and tilt. 
So in standing head to knee, you round the spine. In standing bow, you bend the spine. In this posture balancing stick, try to keep a straight spine, flat back, arms with your ears, stretch. Good, change left foot down, right foot back, arms back, chin up, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes tilt, arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor from the side, body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella, can you lock your legs more, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Second set, of course you're welcome to do um, balancing stick. Second set can always be the same. Otherwise, we'll flow it into another fun posture called standing splits. And I'll show you from the side. Feet together, arms overhead, palms together. This time, just your thumbs cross. Lean back and stretch up. Step your right foot forward, lock both legs, point your left toes, and slowly tilt like a seesaw, but with control. Once you're down to parallel, keep going down, chest down and leg up until hands touch the floor. Start to lift your heel up so one day you're in the standing splits. You can start to bring your left hand close to your right foot like a second foot and then bring your right arm behind you, maybe bending the elbow back, elbow to calf, maybe stomach to thigh, chest to knee, maybe face on the shin. Lift your heel up and maybe, maybe bring both hands together. I'm not sure that I have it today. Heel up, body down, stretch. Good, option to come up however you want. If you'd like, come back to parallel. Try to bring your arms together and carefully reverse out. Good, step your left foot back, right foot back, other side, lean back, chest up. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes and slowly tilt. Take your time. Hands to floor, maybe left arm behind you, elbow to calf, lift your heel up. Stretching on that standing leg hamstring, contract the quad, lift your right heel up, right hip down, stretch. Option to lift your chest up, bring the right leg down, coming back to parallel, arms out in front of you. Good, and change, slowly come up, Whoop, right foot down, left foot back. We're gonna go into an optional vinyasa, so keep your arms up, look up overhead, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step back. Keep exhaling, roll forward, lower down. Inhale, come up into your up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. Try to press the heels down, lift the hips up, contract the thighs, drop your head, take an inhale, take an exhale. Look forward between your hands, inhale, step forward. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, arms of your ears, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands back down at heart center. Good. Next, we're gonna do what's called the separate leg series. We're gonna flow standing separate leg stretching to triangle pose, to standing separate leg head to knee, just like we would in a 60 minute um, 26 and two class. And then the second set, I'll give you like different options that you can play around with those postures, but first set normal. Okay, standing separate leg stretching. I'm gonna stand at one side of my mat so I can face you. You're welcome to be on the long side of your mat, whatever that is for you. Stretching pose, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest, swan dive forward, look forward all the way down. Good, grab your heels from behind and roll forward. Lift your hips up, stretch your spine down, try to touch your forehead to the floor. Now, if your forehead's already touching, take a smaller step. If your forehead's nowhere near the floor, take a bigger step. Everybody roll forward, lift your hips up, lock your legs, catch your breath. Touch your forehead to the floor, in between your feet. Take your time. <laughs> I don't know what that was, take a bigger step. Triangle Turkanasana, push your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, left toes in, bend your right leg and lunge. So sitting all the way down, lean back and move your arms. So in 26 and two version of triangle pose, it's a deep lunge, elbow in front of the knee, aim your right fingers just above your big and second toe, look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder and breathe. Push your left hip forward and down, 
push your right knee back with the help of your elbow turn twist upper body back lock your left leg left foot flat on the floor good change rotate your arms straighten your right leg right toes in left toes out i'm just gonna adjust this angle here sit down lean back keep sitting down low into triangle pose lean back and move your arms at the same time elbow in front of the knee right arm up to the ceiling so you want to hover your fingers just above the big and second toe never quite touching the floor is your right hip higher than your left hip can you sink your right thigh down so push your right hip forward and down push your left knee back with the help of your elbow turn twist upper body back lock your right leg right foot flat on the floor change rotate your arms straighten your left leg left toes in a little bit of a smaller step for head to knee pose inhale arms overhead palms together cross your thumbs exhale pivot on your heels to one side of the room if you're on the long side of your mat you will face the back of your mat turn your back toes in push your hips forward two hips in line two heels in line back side foot makes a 45 degree angle stretch up tuck your chin to your chest go down round your spine concave the front of your body tuck your forehead to your knee you can bend your front leg take a bigger step or push the floor away from you try to touch forehead and knee together front side compression throat choked eyes open breathing normal push your forehead into your knee lock both legs hands together change slowly uncurl vertebra by vertebra disc by disc head up last good pick up your toes pivot on your heels to the other side of the room uncross your heels turn your back toes in push your hips forward two hips in line two heels in line back side foot should make a 45 degree angle stretch up tuck your chin to your chest go down round scoop curl tuck concave go round your spine up towards the ceiling pull your abdomen up towards the ceiling touch your forehead and knee together stretch all ten fingers beyond your big and second toe bring a little bit of weight into your front foot left hip up right hip forward 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 two hips in line throat choked eyes open breathing normal push your forehead into your knee lock both legs hands together quadriceps contracting change slowly uncurl vertebra by vertebra disc by disc head up last good pivot on your heels right foot back arms down so that sequence stretching to triangle to head to knee you're welcome to do it just like that in the second set otherwise i'll give you some other options so let's see put bring your arms over your head second set stretching step your right foot to the right big step turn your toes in heels out lock your legs lift your chest and swan dive forward a couple options you can grab your heels you can grab the backs of your calves you can have your hands at your hips or if you'd like you can bring your hands behind you interlock your fingers and start to bring your arms forward for a nice shoulder rinse take a breath roll forward contract your quadricep muscles pull your thighs up lift your hips up touch your forehead to the floor in between your feet if you have your fingers interlaced and you're bringing them forward bring your arms back down hands towards your back hands on your hips look forward put your hands on the floor in front of you and take a smaller step we're going to go into malasana or squatting garland pose turn your toes out heels in bend your knees and sit down now depending on the um, physiology of your body you might need a wider or smaller step i'm going to take a smaller step eventually sitting down heels on the floor hips down and chest up if this is groovy bring your hands together and push the elbows out and if this is easy have the insides of your feet be parallel but you never turn your toes in more than your heels so you have options to have toes out or toes forward so in that way it's the opposite of stretching pose right in our normal stretching pose we have either the toes forward or the toes in in malasana and garland pose you have the toes out or forward take a breath great put your hands on the floor lift your hips up take a wider step once again from here we're going to float a triangle bring your arms out to the side slowly come up triangle pose i'll give three options first set or first one just like the first set turn your right toes out left toes in bend your right leg lunge sit down lean back and just move your arms option to stay here or place your right hand on the floor in front of your right foot and straighten both legs 
So both legs are straightening, hips, hips lifting up, torso parallel. You can look forward or look up towards the ceiling. Option to stay here for a great twist and chest opener, or we can try what's called bird of paradise. You'll bend your right leg again, bring your right hand in between your legs and try to like give yourself a pat on the back. Drape your left arm behind you, see if you can bring your hands together interlocking the fingers or just grabbing hands behind you. And now here's the fun part, awkwardly walk your feet close together, eventually heels touch. Shift your weight to your left leg and lift up off the floor, bird of paradise, straightening the right leg eventually, press your hips forward, lift your chest up. Take a breath. Good, as you're ready, return your right foot back to the floor. Widen your step. We're going to reverse out triangle pose, elbow in front of the knee, arms at six and 12 o'clock. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, bend your left leg, lunge, sit down, lean back, move your arms. Option to stay here. You can place your left hand on the floor in front of your left foot and lift your hips up, looking up more of a Ashtanga or Vinyasa style triangle. Take a breath. Option to stay here or bend the knee back into a lunge, bring your left hand behind your legs, give yourself a pat on the back, reach your right arm around, try to catch your hands together, walk your feet back together. The first time you do it, it takes forever, but eventually in a couple steps, bring your heels together, shift your weight to your right leg and lift up. For me, it feels like a suction cup sensation as I'm lifting up and then kick your left leg up, press your hips forward. So at first you're leaning forward a lot, but eventually hips forward, eventually both legs lock, chest up. Awesome. Oh, finally, when you're ready, bend your left knee, put your left foot back on the floor, take a wider step, and we're going to reverse out, bring the arms up and down, 6 and 12 o'clock, deep lunge, triangle pose, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in, take a little bit of a smaller step, and this time, put your hands on your hips. For a second, set head to knee, pick up your toes, pivot on your heels, turn your back toes in, push your hips forward, one, two, three, four, five times, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, Go down. It's a little bit more of a balance challenge, keeping the hands off the floor. It helps to have the weight in your front leg. Touch knee and head together. You can keep your hands at your hips or interlock your fingers, maybe release your index fingers, cross your thumbs behind your back, and then lift your arms up and forward for a shoulder rinse. Imagine one day you'll touch your index fingers to the floor in front of you. Take an inhale. As you exhale, suck your stomach in. Your hands are lifting up for that shoulder rinse. Bring your hands back down to your hips. Walk both legs, change, slowly uncurl. Press the left hip forward as you unwind. Head up, last. Good, pick up your toes, pivot on your heels 180 degrees to the other side of the room. Uncross your heels, turn your back toes in, push your hips forward one, two, three, four, five times. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Press your hips forward towards your ribs all the way down. Touch knee and head together. Keep your hands on your hips or bring your hands behind you. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs and lift your arms up. Breathe, push your feet down. Okay, push, uh, sorry, bring your hands back down, hands to hips, push forehead into knee, lock both legs. Change, slowly uncurl, right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down, come to the center line of your mat for another optional vinyasa. Inhale, lift your arms up, looking up overhead, sunset salute. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift, back flat. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step back, put all of the weight forward, bend your elbows lower down. Inhale, come up into your up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. Heels down, hips up. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Good, on your inhale, look forward, step forward. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your head. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, arms overhead, looking up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, wonderful. Next we'll do the hip opening series, flowing tree to toe. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, and lift your right leg up. 
At first, the foot can be on the shin, the knee, eventually heel to costume, sole of foot flat to ceiling. Slowly, gently let your right knee drop down, but never force your knees. Right hand up, and if you can balance, left hand up. Take a slow inhale to your nose, and a slow exhale to your nose. Option to stay here or float a toe stand. Suck your stomach in, keep your standing leg straight and fold forward. At first dangling forward, it's a wobbly fun process. Eventually hands to floor, walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips and breathe in and out through your nose. Left hand up, right hand up. If this is easy, maybe try to kick your right foot out. Good. Reverse the right leg down. Oh, I did it. Put your hands on the floor. That was surprising. Lift your hips up and change. Push your hips forward to reverse out. You can always come up on two feet if that feels safer. Nice. Change right leg down. Shift your weight to your right leg. Lock your right leg and lift your left leg up. Again, maybe the foot's on the shin, the knee, the thigh. Eventually heel the costume. Slowly let your left knee drop down. Never force your knees. You want to feel it in your hip, not your knee. And remember that we're not symmetrical, so this side might feel a little or a lot different. You can bring one or both hands together. Soften your shoulders, lift your chest, lock your standing leg. Toe stand, pick a spot on the floor, four feet in front of you, don't move your eyes, stomach in, fold forward. Put your hands on the floor, put all of the weight into your arms, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips, try to even out the knees, so left knee down a little bit, point your left toes. Left hand up, if you can balance right hand up, and if that's okay, try kicking forward. And then eventually reverse it back. Good, nice. When you're ready, put your hands on the floor, lift your hips up, you're welcome to come up on two feet, or push your hips forward to reverse out. Good, okay, one last optional sun salute. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. This is the last one in class. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, step back. Keep exhaling, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come up, up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. Getting the heels down. Shock your head. Take an inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, arms overhead, looking up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good. Okay, give yourself a high five, fist bump, pat on the back, turn around, final savasana. Wonderful. Okay, so we're on the floor for the rest of class. What a delight. Everybody's doing great. Okay, heels together, toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open. Not closed, breathing normal. Savasana is a gas station. Let it fill you up. When your limbs are close together, your heart and lungs don't have to work very hard to pump fresh blood and oxygen through the body. It's a truly restorative posture. Let's continue. Pavana Muktasana, Winter Moving Pose. Lift your right leg up, interlock your ten fingers, grab your right shin just below the knee, pull your knee out and down and hold. Avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor, look down the center line of your body, pull down extra hard, maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Keep your right leg on the floor. If your right calf muscle doesn't naturally touch the floor, you're welcome to flex your right toes back to your face to anchor the right side of the body down. Try not to roll too far to the left. Change, left leg down and both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other, give yourself a really big hug. If you can't grab your elbows, no problem. You can grab your knees, interlock your fingers, grab wrists or forearms, eventually grabbing elbows. Keep your feet in line. Two heels together side by side, not crisscross. When you line up your feet, you line up your hips. Keep your head on the floor, look down the center line of your body, hold still. Eventually or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. For those of you who are able to grab your elbows, 
just make note of this sensation. And in the second set, we're going to try and do that one knee at a time. I'll explain later. Change. Arms down, eyes open. Take a breath. And we'll do second set. Bend your right leg up. And if you're able, catch opposite elbows. So place your right knee in the crook of your right elbow. Now right away, notice if your elbows are moving to the right side of the room. Bring your left elbow to the left and right foot to the right. So elbows over shoulders, your arms and your chest make four 90 degree angles. Good, release, right leg down, arms down, left leg up. See if you can hook your left elbow over your left knee, catch opposite elbows. And again, notice if your foot's going to, if your left foot is going to the right, and your right elbow is going to the left. Bring your right elbow to the right, left foot to the left, breathe. Good, left leg down, arms down, change, and both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other, maybe opposite elbow on top, squeeze your knees together and down. Give yourself a big hug for coming to class, especially if you're trying something kind of new. Take a breath, hold still, squeeze tight. Good. Release. Change. Arms down and eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back or lower back pain today, you're welcome to skip the sit ups. The sit ups, like everything we do in class, are optional. So you're welcome to roll off to the side here or bring your legs together. Heels on the floor. Flex your toes back towards your face, especially pinky toes. Knees together. Bring your arms over your head. Just your thumbs crossed. Palms face the ceiling. Biceps with your ears. Take a breath. Hold your breath, stomach in, tuck your chin to your chest, squeeze your butt and sit up. Exhale, grab big toes, exhale, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. <laughs> Round your spine as you push the air out. Good, turn and lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series starting with Cobra Bhujangasana. So the 26 and two series of yoga or Bikram yoga, hot yoga, it's based on a larger sequence of 84 postures by Bikram's guru, a guy named Vishnu Ghosh. Um, in the 84 asanas version of this class, you do all the 26 and 2 postures, but for the spine strengthening series that we're about to do, we're going to flow the next four postures twice. So this is the traditional way that you would do the spine strengthening series in the 84 sequence of this yoga. So this yoga, again, it's following the 26 and 2 sequence, but with some um, flourishes from Vikram's mentor, Vishnu Ghosh. So we're going to do all four at once, chin on the floor, or I should say not at once, but you know what I mean. Chin on the floor, hands on the floor, feet together, toes, heels, touch, lock your legs, push your feet and hands down, cobra pose, look up and lift. Come up halfway only, belly button on the floor, elbows stay bent. Hug your arms into your sides and roll your shoulders back and down. Keep your feet together like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch, lock your legs, push your feet down, hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change slowly lower down, chin on the floor, bring your arms down by your sides and rotate your palms down, palms face the floor. This is called locust shalabhasana. Bring your arms underneath you as best you can, right, left, right, left, one day pinky fingers touch, eyes open. Lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See your foot coming directly over the top of your head. Can you lengthen your right leg a little bit more? Stretch the big toe back, lift your heel up. Good, change slowly right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Root down through all 28 knuckles, not just your wrists. Contract your left thigh, point your left toes, lift your heel up, hold here. Change slowly left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin and mouth down. So it's a pretty short posture, right? Bring your arms a little closer, spread your fingers wide, feet together, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up, come up. Everybody come up, you can do it. Start a little harder, don't give up. Mouth down, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your heels up. Good, change slowly with control, lower down. Bring your arms out and then out to the side for full locust, Purnishalabhasana. So arms out to the side like airplane wings, feet together, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up and 
lift, arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. So nice, 747 taking off. Just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Beautiful, where your eyes go, body nose to follow. All five fingers together, thumbs with your index fingers. Lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down. We're gonna go into four bow. Chin on the floor, bend your legs. See if you can grab your feet from the outside. All five fingers together, thumbs with your index fingers. Point your toes, squeeze your tush, look up towards the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. Continuously keep kicking, beautiful, without stopping, without intermission, it's the kick that drives the posture. In the 84 asanas, this version of floor bow, you wanna roll forward and freeze between your ribs and hips. Freezing on the belly, bring your knees in, feet out, wrists straight, look up to the ceiling, get your thighs off the floor, kick, kick, kick. Beautiful, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open, belly savasana. If you have a tight neck and it hurts to look to the right, you can bend one or both arms up so your hands are close to your face and that will take pressure off of the neck and shoulder. So you inhale, feel the backs of your ribs expand out. And as you exhale, soften through your jaw, chest, and hips. Slowly lift your head and look in the other direction, looking to your left, right ear on the floor. Send deep belly breaths in and out to your nose to massage the front of your body. Breathe deep into any point of tension. Let the floor hold you up. Let's do that sequence again. Second set of the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Bhujangasana. Bring your chin forward, hands flat on the floor, not cupping, all five fingers together, pointing forward, fingers just below the shoulder, so elbows point up. Feet together, lock your legs, look up, and lift, stretch your upper body off the floor. Maybe coming up a little bit higher in the second set, but not too much. So often people will either like try to straighten the arms and put all of the weight in the arms and hands, or they'll try to lift the hands off the floor. But for this version of Cobra, you wanna keep your hands on the floor and push down a little bit. So you get that um, back strength and maybe even like tricep bicep workout, but you're not solely relying on the arms. It's the back muscles doing the work. Keep your feet together, lock your legs, push down, lift up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Locust, Pranachalabhasana, arm straight position, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you, right, left, right, left. Lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up. So in cobra pose, we lift the chest and press the feet down. In locust pose, we lift the legs and push the chest down. So it's a little bit opposite. Change, right leg down, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. So in the spine strengthening series, we isolate different parts of the spine, always strengthening all of the muscles that surround the back. It's really good for back flexibility as well as strength. Change, left leg down, grand finale, tuck your chin and mouth down, Mwah, kiss your mat, bring your arms a little closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide, squeeze your butts, lock your legs, point your toes, lift both legs up. This is the only posture in the whole series where the fingers are spread wide. In every other posture, you either have fingers together or fingers interlaced. Thighs up a little higher, press your shoulders down, push your knuckles down, good, change, slowly lower down, bring your arms out to the side, full locus, pranishalabhasana, all five fingers together. Feet together, lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. So in cobra pose, we kept the feet on the floor, but we lifted the chest. In locust pose, we kept the chest on the floor and lifted the legs. In full locust, we're lifting the chest and legs off the floor at once. This is so good for back strength and it's a nice opener through the chest and shoulders. Lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change slowly with control, lower down. Last one on the stomach, Dhanurasana floor, uh, floor bow, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, reaching back, point your toes, squeeze your butt, try to keep the weight in between your ribs and your hips, look up and kick. So it's a nice for digestion, it's a nice full spine back bend, good chest and shoulder opener. Notice if knees are way wider than your hips, I struggle with that, try to bring your knees in line with your hips, knees in, feet out, wrist straight, insides of your wrists closer together, point your toes, look up to the ceiling, kick, kick, Good, change slowly with control, lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, toes together, heels fall open, arms down by your sides, 
Palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Gently lift your head and look to the other side of the room, right ear on the towel. Maybe whole right ear on the towel. Maybe chin close to shoulder, maybe not. Okay, as you're ready, bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor underneath your shoulders and you have an option to do five push-ups. You can always skip it, but otherwise join me for five push-ups. I'm gonna do mine on my knees. So for push-ups, you wanna bring the elbows out to a 45 degree angle. For chaturangas and the vinyasa, you hug the elbows all the way in, just something to make note of. Okay, good, come to the top of your mat and towel. So in the Vishnu Gosh lineage, the next four postures, fixed firm, half tortoise, cobra, or, uh, sorry, camel and rabbit, we flow those together as well. So same thing, the first set will be normal, the second set I'll give you some optional variations, starting with fixed firm, open your knees, open your feet, you can stay here in tabletop, feet wide apart. As you're ready, walk your hands back. You're welcome to have your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. If it feels okay, sink your hips all the way down. Sit down between your heels. Point your big toes back so the insides of your feet are parallel. Place your hands on your feet. Bend your right elbow down, stopping anywhere you feel a point of pain. Left elbow down, knees never come off the floor. Drop your head back, head on the floor. Tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor. Arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. Wherever you are is just perfect. You want a gentle stretch to your toes, ankles, knees, and hips, but never a point of pain. So the sequence that we're about to do is called the Fixed Firm Series, because the tops of your feet, ankles, shins, and knees will be fixed firmly in the floor. So we start with its namesake, Supta Vajrasana. I had a friend who for years thought that this posture was called Fixed Firm, like an office plant, but it is fixed firm, like your lower body is firmly fixated on the floor. Okay, when you're ready, change. Put your hands on your feet, push yourself up carefully, head up last. And we're gonna go into half tortoise. So this time, knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs. Stretch up tall and slowly go down. You're always welcome to place one or both hands on the floor to walk yourself down. Otherwise, feet together, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. So palms together, get your elbows and wrists off the floor, just the knife edges the pinky fingers touch the floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, take a breath. Good. Squeeze your feet and hands together, knees together, change. Slowly come up. We're going to go to camel pose. Stand on your knees. Open your knees. Six inches between your knees and feet. Put your hands at your lower back. Thumbs outside. Fingers point down to the floor. Already, just by standing on your knees, you're opening through your hips, your stomach, your chest, your throat. You're welcome to stay here with your hands on your back. Or as you're ready, look up. If it feels okay, lift your chin and drop your head back. You can stay here or go back halfway, freeze in the middle. And when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels, keep your hands on your back to support your spine. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back, look for your toes behind you. Okay, if your hands are on your heels, place your hands back on your lower back, and change. Slowly come up without twisting your spine. Head comes up last. Next we float a rabbit. Bring your knees, feet back together. Sit down on your heels. Grab your heels from the outside. So the grip in camel pose is the same grip in rabbit pose. How cool is that? Thumbs outside, fingers inside. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Round down. So camels, one of our deepest back bends. Rabbit pose is about rounding your spine. Grab your heels, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. You want the top of your head to the floor, forehead close to knees. If there's a gap between your knees and forehead, you have the option to walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. If your grip is sliding or your heels are coming off the floor, 
ease up, full palm grip on your heels, lift your shoulders up towards the ceiling, away from your ears to decompress your neck spine. Good, chain shifts down, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, so your head comes up last. Nice, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Breathing normal. Option to stay in savasana, or for um, like an abdominal wall strengthener, bend your legs so feet are on the floor, and then lift your feet off the floor so that your knees are over your hips and your shins are parallel to the ceiling. From here, interlock your fingers, lift your head off the floor and bring your interlaced fingers under the nape of your neck, spread your elbows wide. As you're ready, start to straighten your right leg and bring right elbow towards left knee, looking to the left side of the room. Good. Bend your right knee back and bring the spine back to center. Straighten your left leg and bring left elbow to right, uh, to right knee, looking to the right side of the room. Bend your left knee back in, come back to center, and then we'll repeat that in faster succession. So elbow to opposite knee, opposite leg kicking out. Feel your abdominal wall engage for five, four, three, two, one, good, change, arms down and eyes open. Since we do less sit-ups, that's a nice way to engage the abdominal wall. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Another sit-up, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Engaging the abdominal wall, good, okay. So second set, you're welcome to do just like I showed you, or you can take some option, optional variation. So fixed firm, um, we will do it the same in the setup. Start in tabletop. You're welcome to keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. As you're ready, sit down between your heels, put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head on the floor, tuck your chin in, back shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. If that's easy, maybe bring your knees back together or lift your chest higher for, an uh, for a deeper back bend. <laughs> I'm struggling with words today. Okay. So if you have healthy knees, you're welcome to stay just how you are, or an option to stretch the front of the thighs more. Keep your knees on the floor, squeeze your butt, and start to lift your hips up. So knees stay down, but your butt comes off the floor, and you should feel more of a stretch to the tops of your legs. Lower the hips back down. We'll try it two more times. Engage your glutes and lift your hips up. Lower the hips back down. Last time, squeeze your butt, lift your hips up, feeling that nice stretch along the tops of the thighs and knees. Good, change hips down, put your hands on your feet, carefully come up, hug up last, come to the middle of your mountain towel, second set, fixed, uh, second set, half tortoise, you can do it just as you are, knees, feet together, or you can take an optional wide-legged child's pose. So keep your feet together, but open your knees, and for child's pose, you're gonna walk yourself in. Hips sit down, arms stretch forward. In um, half tortoise, palms are together, elbows off the floor. In child's pose, palms on the floor, arms can relax down. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Okay, put your hands on the floor, walk yourself up and come to stand on your knees for camel. If you have full camel in your repertoire, you are welcome to try full camel. If you're not sure how to do full camel, message me after class and we can figure out a time to discuss. Open your knees, keep your feet together. You're welcome to do regular camel or try and full camel, hands at heart center, lift your arms up, look up and drop your head back, go back. I ate soup right before class. I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> Wherever you are is great. Opening the front of the body, bending the spine. Okay, change. Push yourself up. You're welcome to do a second set of rabbit, knees, feet together. Or if you have um, shoulder stand slash plow in your routine, um, I will walk you through that. So you're welcome to do a second set of rabbit, hips on your heels, 
forehead to knees, top of head to floor, or for a shoulder stand, fly on your back. Bring your arms underneath you, hands grabbing your butt, bend your knees up, and then lift up. Good. Okay. From here, lots of fun options. You can bend your knees out to the side, try to bring your knees to the floor, catch your heels, and pull down for snail pose. So you're rounding the spine just like rabbit. You're also welcome if you have lotus in your routine to do shoulder stand lotus, holding the knees in so you still get that round spine sensation just like rabbit. Okay, if you're doing shoulder stand, release out as you're ready, lift your feet up, draw your feet down to the floor on the outside of your head, bring your hands back to the floor, palms face the floor, and slowly uncurl. Hands under your body, palms face the floor. Counter stretch, optional counter stretch for fish. Bend your elbows, drop your head back for a nice back bend. If you're in fish, slowly return your head back down to the floor. Wiggle your arms out and everybody together. Savasana. Arms down, eyes open. Take a breath, slow inhale. Slow exhale. Great. First set, head to knee, stretching, spine twist, normal. Legs together, arms over your head. Flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. <laughs> Great, okay. First set, Johnny Shrasana, just like normal, right? Leg out, left leg in, two legs, make an L. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee. You can bend your leg as much as you need. All 10 fingers interlocked up to the webbing. Flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, round your spine. Change arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in. Stretch up, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead and knee together. If it's easy to touch your forehead to your knee with a bent leg, keep going. Straighten your leg, walk your leg, bend your elbows down, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll into the right. Good, change arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lie on your back, let your spine realign, and sit up <sighs> for Paschimottanasana stretching. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with your peace sign fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left. Knees can stay bent, push your chest forward with a straight spine. If your legs are straight, lock your legs, and then bend elbows down, but you're trying to go down with a flat back. So rather than rounding the spine, arch your spine. Shoulders back, chin up, chest up, pull and stretch. Good, change. We're gonna flow into spine twist. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee corner. Right arm behind you, left arm up, stretch up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up, abdomen in. Exhale, look over your right shoulder and twist. You can keep your right hand behind you for balance or grab your hip, your waistband, one day your inner thigh. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Nice. Change. Unwind. Swap out your legs. Bend your right leg on the floor. Touch left heel to right knee corner. Left arm behind you. Right arm up. And over. Grab right knee with right hand. Inhale. Stretch up. Exhale. Look over left shoulder twist. You can keep your hand behind you or do the half bind. Keep spine straight. Chest up. Rib cage open. Eyes open. Inhale. Stretch up. Exhale. Look over your left shoulder twist. 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 Good. Change. Unwind. Turn around. Savasana. We'll do that sequence again of rounding the spine, stretching the spine, and twisting the spine. But I'll give you some different options in the second set if you'd like. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful. Second set, right leg out, left leg in. In regular head to knee, you want your legs at a 90 degree angle. Second set, you have an option to open your legs wider. You can place your right hand inside or outside of your leg and lift your left arm up overhead. You're welcome to stay here or maybe bring forearm or elbow to floor, maybe even catching your foot in your hand as you look up, open your chest and breathe. Try to keep your left hip on the floor. Good, change, reverse out. Left leg out, right leg in, option to have your hand inside or outside. Lift your right arm up and slowly lower down. Try to keep right hip on the floor option to catch your foot with one or both hands and open your chest. Good, 
Good, change, slowly reverse out, keep your left leg where it is, straighten your right leg. I'm gonna show you this from the side. This is called straddle pose or dragonfly. Just like in stretching where we kept a flat back, same thing here. Put your hands on the floor in front of you, stick your butt out and start to fold forward. Try to keep your chin and chest lifted. Eventually, forearms to floor, maybe one day chest to floor, try to keep a straight spine, flat back. Good, change, slowly push yourself, walk yourself back up, spine twist. I'm gonna give you a couple different options. You can sit crisscross applesauce. You can also try um, like a half lotus or a full lotus. Place your right hand close behind you like a second spine. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, place your left hand on your right thigh. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder and twist. You can keep your hand behind you or grab your hip, your waistband, maybe your inner thigh, or if you're in lotus, try to catch your right foot with your right hand. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist. Good, slowly, carefully unwind. We'll do the other side. Left arm behind you, right arm up. Grab your right, pardon me, left knee with right hand. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder and twist. You can keep your hand behind you or do the half bind. And again, if you're in lotus, Try to catch your left foot with your left hand. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder, twist. Good, carefully unwind. And if you have lotus and you're able to do a bind with one hand, try to do it with both for bound lotus. Catching opposite foot with opposite hand. Nice chest opener. Awesome, you've got it, looks really good. Hey, Sally. Yes, good stuff. Okay, when you're ready, change. Turn around, Savasana. That's always a fun one. I always feel like when we do down Lotus, it kind of looks like you're um, like a statue of like a bust at a museum where there's no arms, <laughs> just the shoulders. Okay, I digress. We started with a breathing exercise and we end full circle with a breathing exercise. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful, turn, come to the middle of your mat and towel. Kapalabhati, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. You're welcome to sit on your uh, glutes as well, can sit crisscross applesauce. First set normal, flick your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate, let's breathe together. Five, four, three, two, one. I realize as I'm doing this, it looks like baby Yoda is doing the breathing exercise with us. What a delight. So um, in other styles of yoga, Kapalbhati breathing is actually through the nose. It's just in Bikram's version where it's through the mouth. So second set, you're welcome to do it like normal, or you can um, join me in trying to do it through the nose. And it might not feel like much. If you're not sure if you're doing right, you can even like place your hand under your nose and you'll feel the air pushing out. It'll feel a little bit different for your lungs as well. So sit up tall, take an inhale through your nose and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Onto yourself, give yourself a hug, high five, pat on the back, seal your practice as you like, and then turn around, relax. Final savasana. Close your eyes, open your arms and legs, and take a much deserved moment of stillness, silence, and breath. Finished, I think, two or three minutes late, so if you need to go, I totally understand, but if you've got time, stick around. Enjoy final savasana. All you have to do is breathe. All you have to do is breathe. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. You are so very alive. 